everyone. Today I'm going to be making ice lollies with things that you might be able to find around your house. So I'm using plastic cups, disposable plastic cups. Now you can use the same or you can use reusable plastic cups as long as they're a little bit small on the small side around this size. You will also need a stick to hold your lollies. So I have lolly sticks. You can use used lolly sticks as long as they're washed, but they need to be non-coated, they can't be painted. You can also use rigid straws, kebab sticks or kebab skewers, or plastic spoons and metal cutlery will also work, okay? So I have five plastic cups, which will be my moulds. I also have a range of juices and milkshakes to put into my cups. So, the first one is going to be a apple and mango juice lolly okay so it's really easy you just pour the juice in you don't want to pour it all, to the, all the way to the top otherwise it might be too big so i'm going to pour it about three quarters of the way up now we need to use either tin foil or cling film we need something to go over the top of our mold Okay, we need to make sure it's nice and tight. You can even use an um, elastic band. And then we need to take our lolly stick and we just need to pierce the top. Okay, and then we just pop our lolly stick all the way down to the bottom. And the foil or the cling film helps keep our lolly stick straight. Because if we don't use this, it will be slanted because it will lean to the side. I'm just going to put that to the side. So we have one mango and apple ice lolly made. Now we need to mix some other juices. Now I have some fizzy drink. It is no sugar, no added sugar. So if you're going to be using fizzy, make sure that it has no added sugar because too much sugar isn't good. Just going to pour that in, just in the same way that we did with the other juice. Now this flavor is mango and grapefruit. And again, taking a piece of foil or cling film that over the top and we're going to pierce the top again and make sure the lolly stick drops all the way to the bottom so we have one mango and apple lolly one pineapple and grapefruit now we are going to be making a strawberry milkshake lolly now i put lots of strawberry um powder into this but you don't have to put as much and I thought I'd add some sprinkles as well, so that when we're eating our lolly, we'll be able to taste those. And if you put some sprinkles in, make sure you stir it. And then we're going to pour that into our ice lolly mold. Lovely, I'm going to put some more in at the top. And then again, I'm going to take my foil. Place it over the top. Now you won't need too much foil, just enough to cover the top. And again, we're going to pierce the top of the foil and put that to one side. Okay, so we have one, two, three ice lollies. We need two more. So I'm going to be making a Vimto one. Now we can use any squash that we have at home, maybe orange squash or blackcurrant. I have Vimto, so I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom. And then I'm going to take some water. I have some water in the jug over here. And I'm just going to carefully pour that in. Okay. Again, taking a piece of foil. pierce the top carefully to do it really slowly or you'll spill it then I think finally I will use some lime cordial so this is just lime juice pour a little bit in the bottom I think I put a little bit too much Then 
then again using a piece of foil. I'm going to place that over the top and then pierce the top with our lolly stick. Okay. And finally, I thought for a little twist, we'd make a yogurt lolly. Now I have an Activia yogurt, but you can use any yogurt pot you like, especially the smaller ones, they'll work better. And then I'm going to hold the top very carefully. I'm going to try and pierce the top of this yogurt with the lolly stick. Ooh. You might need an adult to help you do that, to make sure you don't spill it. And then we also have another lolly. Okay. So finally, I just wanted to show you how you can make one with a plastic spoon. So I'm going to pour my milkshake in. Put the foil over the top and then very carefully place your spoon in. Okay. And that's how you can make one with a plastic spoon or metal cutlery you have at home. Okay, so these ice lollies that we've made now, we have apple and mango, we have grapefruit fizz, we have strawberry milkshake, and we have lime cordial, and we have Vimto squash. Now these need to be placed in the freezer until they are solid. Okay, so I'll be back to the finished product. Hello reception. So my ice lollies have been in the freezer for about three hours. And all you need to do is grab hold of the top and really wiggle it around. And then your ice lolly should come free. Done the same with this one. Okay, well now you can enjoy making ice at home.